Hello, my name is Lana and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Spring TBR. So I decided to try like seasonal TBRs. I've seen a lot of people do them and I think it's a nice idea. I like TBRs. I They were one of my favorite videos to make, but last year I decided to change some things up and I cut the TBRs, monthly TBRs. So now I'm gonna do try and do seasonally TBRs. This first one will be for kind of spring month. I consider March, April and May spring months, though spring actually starts on the 20th of March, but we're still gonna count March as spring. So I have 13 books to show you that I would like to get through. There might pop up some other books that I pick up and read this is not like set in stone that I will definitely read these ones, but there are some reasons for why I need to read these particular books. So let's go through them. First, I have two library books that I picked up and I need to read them because I need to return them. First, I have The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz. This is a mystery kind of thing. It is a sequel to to Sherlock Holmes stories by Arthur Conan Doyle, but by Anthony Horowitz. So he writes Holmes story. And yeah, this is the first book I'm picking up right now. We'll see how it goes. I actually wanted to read Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz, but I found out that it is the second book I can show you. So I also have Moriarty on my TBR. This is the book I own and I wanted to read it in sep September, January, and I found out that it is a second book. So I looked up that my library has the first one. I picked it up, so I'm going to read this one and then hopefully, I don't know, not right away, but during these months, I will continue and finish the second book. The other library book is The Push by Ashley Odran. This is the Latvian edition, as you can see, and I don't really know much. I think this has something to do with a mother and she can't connect with her daughter when she's born. And I don't know, creepy kid? Thriller kind of thing. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. We'll see if I like it and what I think about it when I get to it. Next, I have one buddy read in March planned and it is with Donna. I'm gonna link Donna's channel in the description box so go check her out and we are really we are reading Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is a uh, fantasy romance, YA fantasy romance and that is all I know. Two rivals, two stories, two hearts, one fate. That's all I know that it is a romantasy I guess in a way. Hopefully I will like it. We'll see when we read it and discuss it, what we think about it. Then I have some books for Buzz Read Reading Challenge that I'm trying to do. For March, I have two books. I want to read them both and I, they both fit for the Buzzword Reading Challenge. Number one is Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Backman and the other one is The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. So the Buzzword is names in the title, Amina and Brit Marie. This is connected to my grandfather my grandmother asked to tell you she's sorry by Friedrich Bachmann. I read that book, I didn't really enjoy it. But Brit Marie was one of the characters in that story and I guess this is hers. But I know nothing about this one. And then Amina Al Sarafi is the main character of this story. I think it this is a piratey one and I know that there is a cat in the story. And yeah. I'm interested in the cat. I want to know what part, how big part and what role the cat plays in this story. I think for April the buzzword was nature words and I have The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chakshi. I don't know much about it. I think this was the one where the main character's husband found out some kind of a secret about her, about his wife when they move into the house she grew up in or something like that why do i think this is that one but i might be wrong but flowers are nature so this works for that and the buzzword for may is every and i have 
the unexpected everything by morgan madsen this is a YA contemporary i think it was about a girl who works as a dog sitter based on the cover it looks like it but yeah that's kind of all i know but i don't have a lot of books with every but here is every <laughs> next i have the daughter by Tamara Horiha Zernia, and this is Ukrainian author's work. It is set in 2014 when Russia attacked Ukraine, and it is about the war in Donbass in that year. So it is hard read, probably, because war is not easy, and this particular war still continues, so it probably will be a tough read, but I've been wanting to read this one for a really long time and it's finally time to begin. Then I have decided that I will try and start the Broken Earth trilogy with the fifth season by N.K. Jameson. And this is a sci-fi book, sci-fi trilogy. I've heard people talk about it, but right now I don't remember anything that this one is about, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. So... I will finally start and read it. I know that it is a trilogy. Currently, there are only two books and it translated, but during this year, probably the third one will come out. So I am excited to try and hopefully it's not going to be too hard for me to understand. Then I finally need to try Emily Henry and I have The Beach Read by this author in my hands, in my possession. So this will be the first one it is a kind of romantic book but there are tough themes too so this one is about two authors who live or move in for the summer i don't, don't really know and the house is on the beach next to each other and they are rival rivals or not i don't know really but i think they change the genres they usually write in and write in each other's genres for the summer and romance blossoms i guess between them i really want to continue with reading my subscription box books so i have iron widow by xtrn jezao on my tbr this has been on my tbrs for quite some time it is a sci-fi and it has something to do with the robots and i've been wanting to read it for way too long like i i don't know on how many tbrs this has been on finally it's finally time to pick it up and the last book I'm going to share is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. This is a dark story where our main character feels like she's cursed because people around her is dying and she's like orphaned, I think. And I feel like there was a romance or something relating to death and her. And it sounds fascinating. And for some reason, I really, really want to like this story. Why? I don't know. I just feel like... I will want. I want to love it. I really want to love it, but we'll see if I actually. This do. was a quick TBR for the spring month. I'm pretty sure these will not be the only books I read. We'll see if I even get to all of them. You never know with me and reading, but I would like to get to these in the next three months. But yeah, please let me know what are you planning to read in the near future. And do you plan your reading ahead or you just mood read? And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye.